In this section, we are going to add some more instruments to our song. In our previous tutorials, we have recorded audio. Now we are going to record using MIDI. Let's start by adding a string part to our song. Go to the Project menu and choose Instrument from the Add Track submenu. From the Instrument pull-down menu, choose Halion 1, then click OK. Make sure the inspector is on. Click on the name of our instrument track. It should be the only instrument track you've created, so your name should be Halion 101. We can double click on this and change it to strings. Click on the Edit Instrument button to open Halion 1. If you want Halion 1 to stay always on top while you are working, you can right click on the bar near the top of the instrument and select Always on Top. We are now going to load up sounds into our virtual instrument Halion 1. Click the Preset button in Halion 1 and choose Load Preset from the menu that drops down. In the Category section, make sure only Strings is selected by unchecking anything else and clicking on Strings. In the Subcategory, click on Synth. You have filtered the list to only show Synth strings. Choose a string sound from the list on the right. Now that we have our sound, let's record something. Recording MIDI is very similar to recording audio, as seen in our previous tutorial. Make sure you have a MIDI keyboard connected to your computer, either directly through USB or a MIDI interface. We want to have our MIDI keyboard routed to this track and play the Halion 1. Make sure you have the inspector open so we can see our MIDI input and output routing. Press the Record Enable and Monitor buttons on the track and play some notes on your MIDI keyboard. You should see and hear the MIDI signals coming in on the right of the track. Set the left locator to bar 1 and the right locator to bar 57. Make sure Cycle is turned off. Press 1 on the numeric keypad on your computer keyboard. Press the Record button and record a few bars of music. Press the stop button when you are finished. Turn off the monitor and record enable button on the track so that we don't hear the input or record on the track anymore. Congratulations, you just created your first MIDI recording in Cubase. We are now going to learn how to play back MIDI in Cubase. You might think this is very simple, just hit play. It is actually this simple, but there are a few tricks to learn so that you'll be playing back what you want with precision. To start playback, we can press the start button on the transport. We can also press the space bar on your computer keyboard. We can press the enter key of the numerical computer keypad, or we can double click in the lower half of the ruler. To stop playback, we can press the stop button on the transport. Pressing stop twice moves the cursor to the beginning of the project. Usually this is bar one. Cubase has the ability to loop or cycle a section of your project. To set the cycle location, you need to use the left and right locator. On the transport, set the left locator to 1 and the right locator to 5. Make sure that the cycle button is turned on. Press start on the transport, and now Cubase will play looping over and over until you press stop. We can record MIDI while the cycle is turned on. Let's record in some MIDI drums. Let's add another instrument track and choose Halion 1 as our instrument. Rename this new track to Drums. Choose a drum set sound for this track. Make sure Cycle is turned on and set the left locator to 9 and the right locator to 13. Go to the transport and make sure Mix MIDI is selected for the Cycle Record mode. This will allow us to record the drums and as each cycle repeats, the MIDI will mix together into one part. Turn on the Auto Cue button. This is automatic quantize, which will lock our MIDI to the beat as we record it. Great if we play off time a little bit. Next, we have to set the value of our quantize. 
This is so Cubase knows what to lock our MIDI notes to. Choose eighth notes from the quantize type pull-down menu. Press the record enable and monitor buttons on the drums track. Press the L button on the transport once. This will make sure we start recording at the left locator. Let's record hi-hat on the first pass, kick on the second pass, and then finally snare on the third. Press stop when you're finished. Now move and copy this drum part so that the rest of the song has a drum beat. Now let's glue all the parts together as one. The key editor is where we can make changes to our MIDI data. Let's start by erasing some MIDI notes. Double click on the drums part so that the key editor opens up. We want the song to start off with hi-hat and kick drum. Erase the snare by clicking once and holding the mouse while dragging a selection over the snare drum. Make your selection from bars 1 through 8. Press the delete key to delete the snare notes. Zoom in on bar 1 and delete all the hi-hat notes with the erase tool of the key editor so that you only hear quarter notes. Now erase all the other hi-hat notes from bar 2 through 8 using any method you like. Let's copy the MIDI notes in bar 1 to bars 2 through 8. Lasso the hi-hat notes in bar 1. Hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and drag the notes in bar 1 to bar 2. This copies them. Continue copying until bar 9. Now we need to draw in a cymbal crash in bar 25. Scroll over to bar 25 and click on the piano roll on the left-hand side of the key editor. Click on the notes until you hear a crash cymbal that you like. There is a good one at C sharp 2. Select the draw tool of the key editor and draw in the crash cymbal note at bar 25 by clicking and dragging for a full bar. The controller lane allows us to add in or modify MIDI data such as velocity and controller information. If you find that the MIDI velocity is too loud or quiet on certain notes, you can view them at the bottom of the key editor. Choose Velocity only to view the velocity. You can choose the MIDI information you wish to view or change by clicking on the pull-down menu. You can also click on Setup to view more controllers. Use the Draw tool of the key editor to draw in new velocities for the notes. 